Hi guys, I am here to unbox the newest Loot Pets crate. This is actually January's crate and the theme this month was Invasion. Standard disclaimer, the dogs are around me so if you hear feet, snorts, that sort of thing, that is why. And let's uh, just get right into it. If you want more information on what Loot Pets is, I do have a full blog post, um, so I will just link that below rather than take up more time here if you want more information on the program itself. This is a pretty cute uh, box on the inside. Let's see, little spaceships that are kitties, like that. Looks like our shirt is right on top. And I did get a little spoiled because I did watch some unboxings of the Loot Crate for this month. And the shirt, once again, is um, the same for the Human Loot Crate as it is for the, the Dog's Loot Pet shirt. So this is the shirt for this month. It is, uh, as you can see, Mulder and Scully X-File shirt. Pretty cool. Also very timely with the... Uh, X-Files returning to television. So this is very cute. Looks like the size is going to be good and I will insert a clip of uh, Pug trying this on. Alright, so here is Pug in his new X-Files shirt. Um, again, like I mentioned last time, I did order a large for him, which is a little bit baggy in the arms and it's a little bit long. However, because of Pug's very robust, sort of non-existent necks, that's the size I had to get him to fit around the neck area. So again, if you have a Pug that's in like the kind of 20 pound range, I would go with a large. Um, and this is how it looks. Pretty cute. So <laughs> what do you think, buddy? You like your new shirt? Yeah, he's he's really just interested in these. The uh, invasion of the sweet potato crisps. Not so much caring about anything else. Next up, what is surely to be the dog's favorite. Let's see. Invasion of the sweet potato crisps. Crunchy cosmic snacks invading your dog's taste buds. Main USA. And let's see, ingredients, since that's always important. Sweet potato and rice flour. So not completely grain free, but pretty darn healthy. Two ingredients, made in USA. My dogs uh, can certainly have both of those ingredients, so I will open these right up. And this is actually a pretty, uh, pretty decent size, four ounces. Here's what they look like. They kind of look like bugs, which is, um, or, you know, some sort of alien bug. Here comes Pug. You can hear him in the background. Um, so that makes sense. And here is our friend wanting to try those. Yeah. What do you think? And he's off. He will not eat a treat standing next to me because he thinks I will take it back from him. So, um, look. I will assure you that off camera he is enjoying that quite a bit, as I'm sure you can hear. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. They uh, smell pretty good. Nice treats. Um, this is the obviously the second box, so, so far, uh, two out of two. I'm pretty impressed. Um, I am pretty picky about, you know, anything edible I give my dogs um, ingredient-wise. You know, don't like any funny stuff in there. So, so far, um, very impressed with both months' treats, and someone is back for more. There you go, Am Scray. Okay, okay, we get it. Sweet potato crisps are a hit with the pug. Okay, okay. Well, we'll, we'll get some more feedback from you later. All right, let's see. Next up, so this is a frisbee. Not edible, buddy. I'm sorry. So my dogs are kind of weird as far as toys go. Um, Molly, my older dog, she's almost 13, has never played with a toy in her life. 
Pug only likes toys that he can suck on. He sort of has a oral fixation if you've watched any other videos on my channel. Um, so my dogs probably won't play with this. It is pretty cool though. I actually just watched Battlestar Galactica for the first time um, earlier this, well, I guess late last year. Um, but my mom has dogs and my friends have dogs, so I will pass this along to them and um, yeah, see if they like that, but pretty cool. And take the last thing. This is actually really cool. Try to get this to focus. There we go. So this is a Space Invaders six foot leash. And uh, you can, my house never have too many leashes. Let's open this up. Excuse Pug in the background looking for more of those sweet potato crisps. Um, not super thick, but pretty good, you know, feels like pretty good quality and obviously very cute. Um, and you know, six foot leash, six foot leash is pretty standard. Um, you know, normal buckle. <laughs> oh, so there's one more thing in here. Um, oh, it looks like we actually, one of the things I really liked in the first box was the little, uh, the jog tag that said founding pet. And it looks like we got another one in this box. Try to focus on that. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but this one is a little, a little dog bone spaceship. Pretty cute. Uh, you know, it's not a major thing, but I think it is a, I think these are a cute little tud. So I think that is it. Last thing in here is the, the Loot Pets magazine. And as you may remember last month, I, you know, was obsessed with the cover art on the Loot Pets magazine because it was a pug astronaut. Um, this one, it's a dog, Mulder and Scully. Um, I actually just watched The X-Files for the first time on Netflix maybe about a year or two ago. Um, I remember growing up, my grandma used to watch it, but um, aliens freaked me out at the time. I never finished it, but I need to kind of finish the series on Netflix so I can start watching the, the new episode. Hopefully Scully has um, gotten some better fitted uh, fitted suits in this the reboot. So, I mean, the Loot Pets magazine is pretty straightforward. Um, there is another edition of the pets in pop culture, this time with, uh, you know, an alien theme, which is pretty cool. We've got Stitch, Milo and Stitch, Gremlins, which was one of my absolute favorites when I was younger, and I really love this one. Boomer from Independence Day, probably the most nerve-wracking scene in that entire movie, wondering if Boomer was going to make it. It's kind of cool. And I've been really, you know, obviously there's no pugs in this one, which is a bummer. I would love to see a pug every time, but the artwork is really cool. Um, and I feel like, especially if you're, you know, a huge X-Files fan, you know, kind of cut this cover off, pop it in a frame, and I feel like it's, it's a pretty cool piece of art, so. So, that is January's Loot Pets box. Uh, once again, I will link that blog post where I explain the entire program in its entirety um, rather than take up more time here in this video. You can use my code, which is PUGLIFE, to get 10% off your own subscription. And, um, I'll have, and I'll have you know everything linked in the description box below or pop it up in an annotation here. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I, I think this one was, uh, was a pretty pretty solid box again this is only their second one so I'm excited to see where they go from here they have already announced that the February box is um, a dead theme and it will be containing a walking some sort of walking dead item which I am super excited about because I am definitely obsessed with all things zombies movies TV shows etc so looking forward to that and you can look forward to seeing that unboxing uh, later in February when that box arrives. So until next time, bye!